Hey guys, I want to do a video, just an update on my uh, collection here. Uh, also, update on the rack. As you can see, I uh, did the white melamine trim. Um, it came out pretty well. Did all that on the front of the rack. So it actually looks nice and professional now. Uh, if it didn't have the. Well, this is actually supposed to be upside down, so this was actually supposed to be the feet. But I decided to. Uh, make that the bottom down there just because to help it uh, sit nice and flat and even instead of having to worry about it tilt over it for any reason um, yeah the white trim here and I didn't do the white trim there I got a house gecko egg incubator up there just on a heating pad using hot trite right there with the aluminum uh, tape works pretty well it keeps the corner there of the tub about 95 and then over here it's about 10 degree uh, cooler so about 85 or so inside the tub but we'll start here with my spider probably one of my favorite morphs this is probably one of my favorite snakes this one on my bow and I'll get to the bow a little bit later but I love this snake great gold color and honor him sorry uh, he's being a freak for some reason just an awesome awesome snake can't wait to eventually pair him up with a uh, Probably a pastel. Get some uh, bumblebees. And then next, got my male butter. This light over here is really killing it, but it's a great, great snake. Glad my friend talked me into buying them. Sure, have a nice, uh, nice snake to have him breed to later on and now we'll start with the pastels this is my female female pastel it's a great looking snake currently I don't have their records in front of me I actually use an online tracking program for it um, but I think I last recorded her at uh, 500 grams or so. Uh, this one, 11 pastel male. Just look how bright. It's great snake. Great, great snake. And he's still a little small. Uh, I don't know if he'll be ready for next season but I'm hoping so this one I know is ready to so start breeding this is my jungle pastel just uh, I picked him up at the Hamburg show did a couple trades picked him up I like him got a couple girls for him now we will move on to a dirty cage with my yellow belly. See the flaming right up there? That's one of the indicators of a um, yellow belly or goblin, as Ralph Davis calls them. Uh, and then also the checkered belly. Those are the markers, basically, of a yellow belly. Um, and what these these guys can produce, if you know you don't know already, is uh, ivory. And so their names are goblin, yellow belly, or head ivory. Which this is a co-dominant trait, but also produces a recessive trait. Which uh, not I'm sorry, not a recessive trait, but uh, the super form is a uh, ivory. So I'm sure some of y'all are gonna correct me on that, but oh well. 
next move on to my ghost really bad coloring ghost but nonetheless now this this is a recessive morph unlike the yellow belly I had him uh, locked up with one of my girls I saw it a couple times but uh, they they just weren't getting it on as well I don't think uh, my girl was very receptive to it uh, here I got Rita this is my first ball python I've ever owned and I just picked her up last year um, so thank you you're the one that got me into all of this <laughs> no, they're just easy snakes um, I got her from work she was the last one that we had so had a good sale on her so then I got a discount on top of it so she's already she's grown probably triple size since I've had her so yeah, she's doing good great eater since day one now we'll move on this new big f female here uh, this was a a freebie picture up at work she's about I think she's uh, 1200 grams or so already ready for breeding but you know I'm gonna beef her up and wait till next season so I'll probably start putting her on a rat soon she had a mouse not too long ago but yep that's what I'm gonna do with her and then so I haven't sexed these two yet but this is just a normal I think this was the male I don't remember but one was a male one was a female they're still pretty small I haven't really had time, too much time to mess with them actually this might be the male but still this one looks like it's getting ready to go in shed soon yeah I'll put a water dish in there for you now we'll move on to my king snake. Don't know how well he's showing up here. This is Jake the snake. This is the first snake I've ever owned. This was given to me by a friend that was going to college. About what is it? Three years ago now, almost three years. This is the one that got me started with it all. Uh, uh, I don't even know how long he is, but four feet or so. Don't even know the sex of him. Makes it a mystery. I like not knowing with him. Then Claire, she just had a rat today, so I'm not going to take her out. A big boa. Uh, another normal female. She's uh, about 1,200 grams or so. She just had a rat also, so I'm not taking her out. But she's still hungry. And this one, another uh, normal female, about. 1800 gram actually she's over 2000 grams I believe but she just had a rat as well so I'm not messing with her and then here's my bearded dragon that's Carmen and Blaze and I gotta start cutting this video short and I have six leopard geckos in here and a 20 long I'm gonna be upgrading them but they're all inside that cave so that's it take it easy